Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment, so Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 27 and 28. From whence do I come? Where am I going? How do I get there? These are the three basic essential and universal questions in life that we introduced in yesterday morning's devotional thought. This morning I would like for us to continue to explore their answers. Where am I going? There is more than one answer to this question. There are some, at least, who say that we are going nowhere. They say that we are destined for death and that there is nothing beyond the grave. There are those who say that the end is nothingness, obliteration, disintegration, extinction. The Christian, however, is very different. The Christian answer is that just as one comes from God, so he goes to God. It is precisely for this reason that this present life matters so much to the Christian. If life is really going nowhere, if this life is all there is, then it does not matter how we use this life. It is, therefore, the best and most sensible policy to do what we like with it, because in the real sense of the term, it does not ultimately matter what we do with it. If life is a thought of the mind of God, then quite inevitably, life involves judgment, for each person will necessarily give account of how he fulfilled or did not fulfill the intention of God. The Christian belief is quite simply that, because life comes from God, it must also go back to God, and that is precisely what gives it its significance. How do I get there? In the Bible, the Christian has the map and the route book of the good life to show him the way to his goal. But a map may be difficult to read and to understand and to follow, and there is an even better way to make sure that on a journey we do not lose the way. We must get for ourselves a guide who knows the way and who can guide us along the way. This is what the Christian has in Jesus Christ. So, if we are Christians, we believe that we came from God, and that we go to God, and that Jesus Christ is the guide for our way. What about you today? Do you realize that every person will ultimately die and stand before the judgment seat of God? Are you ready for that day to come? Are you leaning upon Jesus and upon the Word of God to guide you safely to that ultimate goal? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children pray. your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children praying.